Hey guys, welcome back. I'm so happy to introduce you to one of the most accomplished women leaders of our time, Ms. Sangeeta Shankaran Sumesh. She's been awarded leading women CFO in India at Women Leaders Conference. She's been conferred innovator in finance at International Women Leaders Forum. Featured as one of the India's most influential women in finance, she's, she was presented Jewel in the Crown by Punjab Association, been awarded 100 Inspiring Authors of India, Outstanding Professional Award by FIKI and many more such awards. We are going to have a free-flowing conversation with Sangeeta Shankaran Sumesh on the topic Show Me the Money Honey, Financial Hacks for Growth. I am downloading this book on my Kindle and read it thoroughly end to end. As an entrepreneur, as a gig worker, as a freelancer, as a business leader, having worked for two decades, I can appreciate the pearls of wisdom what Sangeeta has strung together, which you can't find in any other management books, even in expensive MBA programs offered worldwide. It is so customized, humane, humble and honest. That's how I would put it. She draws inspiration from various engagements and professional assignments that she's been part of and her CFO role and advisor to many companies. She uses her coach persona. It's really refreshing to see this book from a coach's perspective. Without giving a prescription of sorts, she makes the reader think. Come, let's dive into what is this book all about? Who is this book for? What one can expect to take away from this book? Before that, we got to know the author. What got my attention is a picture she posted on one of the social media platforms. Our Honorable Finance Minister, Ms. Nirmala Sitaraman, holding a book authored by Sangeeta, What the Finance. That got me curious to know more about Sangeeta and her accomplishments and professional journey. I stumbled upon a book called Nightingale's 3.0. This is a compendium of 11 CAs, contemporary women leaders who are excelling in their field by practicing the art and science of finance. And Sangeeta is featured in that book. And I could take a peek into her childhood, how she shaped up as an inspiring professional she is today. Coming from a humble beginning, a typical middle class family, she's always excelled in her studies. When she got the highest marks in 12th class exam, she got a cash prize through Sir Adrian Cadbury Award. And using that money, her parents gifted her a kinetic Honda, which is a legacy two-stroke gearless scooter of 1990s. What pleasantly surprised me is she's featured on many TV commercials, including the one on Minu Mix. All the carton boxes of many households which bought this mixie in those days had Sangeeta's smiling picture on the carton box. She was a main anchor for a program called Unroom In Room, broadcasted on Sun TV those days. Though she was doing modeling and video jockeying, she realized that business is her first interest. And she qualified as a chartered accountant. After marriage, Sangeeta moved to Botswana along with her husband Sumesh. And that's where she joined PwC's Entrepreneurial Advisory, which focused on SMEs and PSUs in Botswana. There's one incident that she recounts in this book where being a workaholic, she worked till the last minute of her pregnancy. And that really amazed me. The kind of work ethic, passion she has for this field. How much ever I talk about Sangeeta, it won't be enough to do justice. Since our purpose is to review the book, Where's the Mula? Let's deep dive. She's also written A Glance at the Unknown. The opening chapter is nothing less than a Hollywood thriller. I instantly got hooked to the book. It is not just another story, but one that gets you think about the cause and effect theory. It also touches upon principles like values, purpose, integrity, crisis management, conflict management, etc. With a wonderful engaging storyline. The other non-fiction books that she wrote include Get High is a book that enables you to get a higher version of yourself in whatever work you do. It has short stories that one can learn from and activities that will enable us to achieve our goals to maximize our growth potential. There's an opportunity for the reader to be our own coach for high performance and achieve what we want. In the book, What the Finance, Sangeeta argues that finance is not confusing. Finance is not boring. Finance is definitely not something that you can ignore. Through a lot of simple examples and actionable points and practical insights, Sangeeta shows entrepreneurs 
what finance really is the most valuable secret weapon of their business so let's come to where's the moolah this is a book for entrepreneurs and business heads as they are concerned about how to be more profitable and what to do to earn more bucks this book shares easy and simple bite sized actionable pointers that can help one discover the hidden treasures in their business which will also enable them to grow profits manage cash flow better and manage the business and how to pivot for high financial performance how various functions of a business can contribute to overall financial growth Sangeeta gives lots of do's and don'ts from real life examples, scorecards and lots of questions as reflection points and food for thought. When you open the book, you will find words of wisdom from many famous celebrities and business leaders and they urge you to derive benefits from this book, which sets you to the mind that yes, there is something valuable that you are about to receive. There are 10 chapters in this book and each chapter has got these five attributes as a common theme after outlining the core theme and what we need to focus as a business leader into the section called watch out for common mistakes i found this very useful it offers lot of questions for reflection she also includes many dilemmas faced by entrepreneurs business leaders and functional heads these days she also freely shares her success templates which are hard to come by the crux of this book is understanding adopting and assimilating the hacks pertaining to that particular chapter this makes a business leader think in a systemic manner not to ignore any elements which would make them a better professional and steer their business to a growth path Also in each of these chapters you will find a leader speak section where Sangeeta has interviewed many prominent business leaders who are very successful and they share their secrets notably some of them include Ms Uma Rao HR head of Ashok Leyland Mr Chella Pandian chief marketing officer and managing director of Kimberley Clark India Mr Parthasarathy VS president mobility services sector an executive board member of Mahindra Group Mr Venkatesh Vishwanathan CFO Global Outsourcing RR Donnelly Mr Vishesh Chandoik CEO of Grand Thought and Bharat Mr Harish Lakshman Vice Chairman Rani Group Mr CK Ranganathan Chairman Kavinker Ms Shobhana Ravi Chief IT Innovation and Learning Officer Tafe Mr Anand Goni Bidu India Chief Information Officer Mondelez International Mr Raghunanda Tangirala Managing Director UDS Mr Raghavan Neelakanthan President Lucas Indian Service and many more on the opening chapter pivot on finance she starts by asking what does growth mean to you for your business this is a very self reflective section aptly positioned in this entire book she also helps the reader how to go about setting financial goals an important point while doing this is not to get carried away by your wish list and keeping the financial goals real and practical i found her tom acronym while setting financial goals very interesting and useful stands for time frame objectives and measurement in this chapter she talks about a business wheel which has many components and play important role in the financial performance of the business these eight areas she cautions that the responsibility lies on the business owner or the head to ensure the competency of business wheel so that it can aid the financial growth she establishes clear link between the roles of each business wheel on the financial situation of the business in the same chapter she goes on to demystify what is written on expense profit and loss how financial high performance can be measured and towards the end of the chapter she introduces the term wukard which stands for volatile uncertain complex ambiguous risky and disruptive she also gives the antidote for wukard how to overcome these and fight with another wukard i would save it for those who are keen to know more about this and they can read it from the book directly when you move to the second chapter she opens with a paragraph on people she goes on to explain the importance of humanness happiness to ensure high performance this is a very interesting profit hack wheel of the hr function every business owner would understand all the moving parts of this wheel you will find the rewards and recognition section and learning and development section very useful because she shares lot of practical examples and inputs that will take the business to the next level in the rewards and recognition section she talks about what is the basis and how a business leader should clearly define key result areas kras and key performance indicators kpis very clearly in the section on learning and development she talks about team effectiveness you will also find the table of information 
on how to induce high performance in your team very useful she gives a lot of inputs on employee engagement and how to manage hr cost and improve productivity there is a section on culture and strategy as well chapter 3 is dedicated to customer internal as well as external many thought provoking case studies you will find here and the questions sangeeta asks makes one reflect on how to carefully go about revenue generation there are a lot of concepts that she introduces to the reader i found them very refreshing not at all a textbookish approach when it comes to converting the lead and retaining them as customers she outlines a 3w model how to woo customers with irresistible offers how to wow customers with right product service and experience how to win over customers for long term i found this very interesting the entire focus seemed to be on customer experience when you move on to chapter 4 it's all about strategy and how the interplay of structure synergy and the solution is outlined in this chapter the profit hack wheel of strategy is also very interesting one one should not miss it here she outlines the four essential pillars of strategy knowing the purpose creating a business plan being proactive giving the right priority to the important aspects of business in this chapter she also talks about disruption how can a business handle disruption this is a very refreshing take especially during the pandemic gives a lot of practical tips on chapter 5 you will get introduced to operations how can we build financial efficiency in operations by being output oriented and organizing things optimally in this chapter you will find profit hack wheel of the operations function and sangeeta asserts that value creation is at the intersection of business operations and finance here there are a lot of references on how to improve financial matrices through optimized operations moving on to sixth chapter on marketing how can a business leader craft a mindful message to the market through right media in this chapter she advocates businesses to be more sensitive towards hyper local markets she also talks about referral marketing digital marketing outlier marketing collaborative marketing and various other cost effective marketing techniques i'm sure you will find all of these very refreshing how can a chapter on marketing be complete without a question on roi on marketing return on investment on chapter 7 one can learn about financial management with suppliers how can a business leader or entrepreneur source supplies within the defined scope again the profit hack wheel of supply chain is very useful for a business leader there is a in depth analysis and template on how to prepare cash flow budget which gives you visibility to plan your cash she goes on to talk about legal and human aspects of handling suppliers on chapter 8 one can learn more about how to create synergy with information technology as a function this is the infrastructure that creates impact for incremental growth the profit hack wheel of the it function gives you a holistic picture and the interconnectedness of it with various functions of the business on chapter 9 one can learn more about leveraging on finance to scale the business how can we focus on funds figures responsibility and fiduciary aspects in this chapter you you are introduced to profit hack wheel of the finance function how it is all interrelated here she also talks about role of finance team how can one look for long term growth using finance as a function finally on chapter 10 sangeeta outlines various means and ways to accelerate financial growth this is where she stresses that as a business owner or business head one need to ensure that business is focusing on the right and important parameters i found a pictorial depiction of what makes a investor happy it looks like a smiley face with two eyes and two ears where sangeeta talks about what each of these elements stand for in a business and how one can make a investor happy in all after reading this book one takes a message that it is up to the business head or the entrepreneur to scrutinize and analyze each aspect of the business to find money that they want these are hidden treasures which are there in all the chapters of this book one can make right decisions and take right actions towards these business objectives by following the simple techniques and reflective questions as outlined by sangeeta and she emphasizes the need for an entrepreneur or a business head or a leader to hire a coach think through all of these dilemmas dispassionately all in all i would highly recommend any business leader or an entrepreneur or a startup founder to grab this book and be forewarned on the mistakes that they are about to make this will save them a lot of time hard burn and make them wiser and richer thank you so much we meet sangeeta on the 1st of october friday 7 pm india time i would urge you to set reminder for that session and join us if you like this video there are many more in the pipeline please do like share and a sub would be great thank you so much